and this is not a story, but it will be. Because I was at LA Comic Con and I talk to people in the industry and I hear things about what's going on at Marvel. And I can tell you some things. Some of it is good news. Some of it, some might say bad or unsurprising news. And that is this. And I will just go in order. I know a lot. I'm just going to tell you uh, what I'm able to report at this time, which is that the upcoming Captain America movie is awful. They've done more than one version of it. It's not landing. It's supposed it's going to be really bad and it will be shuffled out in February. It, and don't get your hopes up. Your expectations keep them low. Uh conversely, the Thunderbolts is actually very good from what I heard. Sebastian Stan is excellent. And because there are no expectations or low expectations for that movie, I am told, I am told it will surprise you. And uh, pay close attention to Bob in the movie. We all know who Bob is. No spoilers. We all know who Bob is. I'm not going to say Bob it, is mo Bob is more important than you might think. Yeah. <laughs> so I heard I heard a lot of things about Thunderbolts that just be prepared that you may be surprised. And I think, um, I, look, I don't want to dislike a movie. I don't want to. I don't want to dislike a movie. I want things to be good. So that's encouraging. Um, so you're saying it's it, good to have low expectations for the Thunderbolt. Sure. But the best thing I heard was about Daredevil Born Again. Now, while I know specifics in the series, and I'll share a few with you, what I'm told is it is hard R rated. Expect it on the same level as the Netflix series. I'll share two specific things that I know. One, it is very violent, mm -hmm. perhaps more so than the Netflix series. There is, and, and uh, the person I spoke to saw all the episodes, and there is a amazing scene where Daredevil and uh, Kingpin have a meeting where it's it's it, it was described as being like the uh, De Niro Al Pacino meeting in the heat at the diner where it's very tense and Daredevil and Kingpin have a meeting that is similar to that scene or may perhaps inspired by where they talk about how things are going to are going to go because Kingpin has come to power in the city let's just say that and uh, it's supposed to be, it, it's just a scene with dialogue that goes on really long, but it's so intense as to be like, it's, it's the best thing in the show, the level of violence. I'll give you one example. This is Kingpin right out of the comics in terms of his, uh, in terms of being a towering figure. He takes the, I, I am merely the messenger passing along what I was told. He takes the head of someone and rips it apart, like, like crushing it like a melon or a pumpkin, ripping the head. That's the level of violence. It's hard R rated. So, I, I, I mean, I hope everything I'm hearing about Daredevil is very good. Um, I think it's encouraging that they stopped production and completely revamped it. So, I have more I can say, but it's very, it's very early. So that's all I'll leave you with. Captain America, don't get your hopes up. Thunderbolt, surprising. Uh, it may surprise you. And Daredevil is looking good. And there you go. And now I'm going to wait for a hundred articles to come out <laughs> yeah. that other YouTubers are going to read. But you heard it here first. You heard it here first, and I'll tell you more as I get it. This, this, look, and I hope, look, I, I, we don't really do this kind of rumor reporting, but I know things I can say 
And when I'm confident, I will tell you, but we're not one of those channels that is, you know, uh, just but, yeah, kind of uh, pulling news out of nothing. Yeah, it's like, no, we do it very rarely. You know, we told you about the Acolyte. We've told you things in the past. So there you go. Let's go to your comments and questions here. All right, John Thomas for five. Chris, I saw a vid about a lost pilot. Hail, honey, I'm home. Uh, yes, it's a sitcom about a funny mustache guy. Is this no, a real thing? or a It's skit? called... It's called Heil, honey. I'm home. Oh, yes, that's a real sitcom. I believe it's British. Look it up. Yep. Uh, Euler Workshop. Euler's Workshop for four nine nine. dollars uh, you, you absolutely can buy Acolyte figs at Walmart and Target because, because use they are opened, uh, put and are just sitting there just doing nothing. Yep. Uh, Leslie Tarkin, when will it be the gayest daredevil ever? Uh, no, no one. Uh, HD, hey, it's a, me and HD. Uh, that bullseye leak is fire. I don't know if that was leaked, I think we already heard he was gonna be in it. Yeah. Uh, BJ K Kazai, uh, honestly, if they would give they, they would have given Sam the serum, uh, I would have been all about him being capped. Yeah, I would say if they not, had given if they had given Sam a home loan, uh, I would have been all in. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Alan. Uh, seed. Uh, my expectation are in the toilet. I think that's the best way to approach Thunderbolts. It, it's going to be bad, and and just let it surprise you. Now I know a lot more, but I just want to give you a tease, and um, I I don't want to say everything. I also I don't want to. I, I don't say, I've been in some of the I'll just say I've been in some of the conversations. Uh, Chris, you are holding back a lot. Let's just I am because. Well, what should I say? You should. I look. People need to experience the show as it is. I, That's I think what I mean. I don't. If I give away too much, I'll ruin it. Yeah. Like, I, there's one major spoiler I know that mm -hmm. was shocking to me. Yeah. I'm and I let's wait until the show is about to come out. <laughs> yeah. J Jonas J Campbell for one nine nine. Those channels are fun. Yes, they are fun, J Jonas. Yes, but they have. Them. Yes, I'll say this, but they have zero credibility. <laughs> if you get my meaning. You get Except my meaning. your channel, Jonas. You're, you're we're not talking here. about you, Jonas. Yeah, we're not talking about you. We're not talking about you, Jonas. <laughs>